Today we're going to take a quick look at the four guiding principles of design. The first one that we're going to look at is contrast. In my opinion, contrast is probably the most important for you guys to learn. If you don't have good contrast, you're not going to be able to see your design very well. This one is a pretty extreme example. On the left you have bad contrast and on the right you have good contrast. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that print is different than digital. You're going to have different um, contrast if you print things out than if you are on digital. So keep that in mind. When you are working with contrast, you want to have, if you have a light background, you want dark words, like in the example on the right. And if you have a dark background, you want light words. If you look at these examples, um, you can see in the blue and the red, you have two pretty intense colors. And down on the bottom, you have two light colors, so the contrast isn't good. If you look on the right hand side, you have a dark background with the green and a light background with the white. So that is good contrast. And then on the bottom, you have the light yellow and the dark black. So that is good contrast. So anytime you just want to make sure that you have opposites so that you have good contrast in your design. If we go on to repetition. When you are designing things, you want to make sure that you repeat design elements. In this example, you have the triangles repeated over and over. When you're creating things, um, when you make a presentation, you want to pick one design element and stick with it. Uh, for example, if you choose a font, you want to use that font throughout your presentation. If you choose one graphic, you want to stick with that kind of graphic. So if you use a sketched graphic, keep using that throughout all your slides. Or if you use a cartoon type of graphic or an actual picture, just use that throughout your presentation. Don't use a sketched image on one slide, a cartoon image on the next, and an actual pic picture on the next image repeat your design element throughout your presentation. The next design element that we're going to look at is alignment. Uh, we're used to looking at, you know, left alignment, center alignment, and right alignment. That's normal for us. When we are designing things, alignment is a little bit more involved. If you look at the example here, you have the word alignment cut up into two different parts to show a little bit more fun and to um, add some design. When we are designing things, you're not just going to click and type. Actually take some time and arrange your words in a way that's more entertaining on the page. So break up your lines and use two or three different lines to put your word there on the page. The last design element that we're going to look at is proximity. Proximity is when you group like elements. In this example, you have all the triangles together up at the top and all of the circles together down at the bottom. So if you have different topics, you're going to group the topics that are the same um, on the page in different areas. So our four different guiding design principles are contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity. Throughout our semester, you will be using those principles to guide your designs as you create your presentations.